Hey guys, and welcome back to Super Mario World. Last time, we defeated Bowser. We saved the day, but there's more to do. We've got to check out the Star Road. Now, the Star Road is this game's version of the Warp Zone. And you can get all the way up to Bowser's Castle, the front door of Bowser's Castle, from all the way back to Dona Plains. Um... But I wanted to play through the whole game. So, there's two ways to go through here. If you want the secret exit, stick to the right. I'm going to go for the secret exit first. And just like that, it took all of, what, 19 seconds? I don't even know. Maybe less than that. You can access Star World 2. And this Star Road takes you to Vanilla Secret 1. But we're not done with Star Road 1. Star World 1. Now let's go back the other direction. Oh gosh, no. I want to stay on my Yoshi. Now you can get different colored um, Yoshis in here. Um, and in this stage, the Yoshi you can get uh, I believe is the red one. We'll see in a second when we find the egg. I'll take that one up. Thank you. And you can get... Starman. I'm going to get that second one to keep my star power going. But yeah, I believe you can get a red Yoshi in this one. And what Red Yoshi does is any shell that it eats will grant you whatever power that shell would normally give plus um, fireballs. Now where is that Yoshi? Oh, there it is. There you go. And yes, indeed, it is a red one. But if I, if I try and get it, I'm just going to end up getting... Oh, gosh! It's just going to end up being the one-up because there can be no more than one Yoshi on screen at a time and I'm sorry Yoshi but I'm gonna leave you behind because I want to show off some of these other um, Yoshis that you can get and these different Yoshis look exactly like um, their green counterpart except they're a different color so here we go Star World 2 and right off the bat you're going to have a blue Yoshi. Now you have a choice. You can let him eat that star and have him grow up instantly or you can carry the baby and have it eat five enemies. Um, but I'm lazy so I'm just gonna yeah use the star. And these rip vent fish can be a pain so I like to keep my distance and get rid of them with Yoshi. And now blue Yoshi will um, any shell that it eats, it will gain the ability of flight. So, and, and again, you gain also the ability of whatever color that shell would have been. So if my blue Oshi, my blue Oshi, my blue Yoshi eats a yellow shell, I can pound the ground and I can also fly. So it's like you get two for one. Um, again, that works with Red Yoshi. If you have a Red Yoshi and you grab a blue shell, um, you can uh, you can fly, and then when you spit it out, you'll spit out fireballs. And as you might have guessed, the the different colored Yoshis match up with their shells. So blue shells give Yoshi's ability of flight blue Yoshis get flight from whatever shell they eat and so on and so forth so now we can get a one-up from that shell since we already have the blue Yoshi from this stage and interesting to know if you're invincible Mario and you wake up Rip Van Fish they f swim away from you so it shows that they're actually very intelligent and you can see they were starting to go up 
while I was invincible. And all those poor fish. Kill all the fish. You can get a bunch of one-ups this way. And you see they're going up right now, but as soon as my invincibility wears off, they start coming down. And I woke that one up. Oops. So to get to secret exit, you just come under here. It's fairly easy because you've got plenty of room. And here's the key, and here's the keyhole. And that's it. And that takes us to the third star road, which leads to Soda Lake. There you go. All right, so I'm going to keep my Blue Yoshi because Blue Yoshi is my favorite. I like having the ability to fly at all times, and it'll help out with certain other uh, levels in Star World. Um, but not so much in, in this one. Um, so let Lakitu kill a bunch of enemies. I'm going to jump off of Yoshi here. I'm going to grab all these coins while I can. And then as soon as I have the opportunity, use the blue shell to knock Lakitu out of his cloud. Jump into the cloud, then come up here. And in this block is the key, and on the other side is the keyhole. There you go. Easy as that. It's an extremely short stage. And again, you can get a yellow Yoshi from here. I want to say this is the only stage you can get a yellow Yoshi from. I'm not entirely sure what the other two levels in Star World give you. I might be wrong about that. In fact, I probably am wrong about that. I know one of them gives you a red Yoshi. So let's find out. And this Star Road takes us to the Forest of Illusion. Alright. Star World 4. And yeah, so here's the red Yoshi. So there's two stages that give you a red Yoshi. You know, now that I think about it, I'm I'm guessing that um, that other stage, stage five, gives you a, a yellow Yoshi instead of a blue one. Because you can actually get blue Yoshis from other places in the level. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want the ability to fly, and I'm... Um, wait, 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 wait. Am I supposed to go... No, I don't. I guess I don't really need the ability to fly here. And there's the secret exit. It's just helpful. The next level is the one I want the ability to fly. And if we come through this star road, it takes us to... Valley of Bowser, so you can you can see how few levels you actually have to d to beat in order to to get somewhere, and you can beat that last level uh, without flipping the green and red switches. It's just a lot harder to do. It, it takes more skill, and it's just easier to wait until you have the the green and red switches. And I'm still gonna fly through here. Because I can. Because I like to do so. Now if you really wanted to, you could utilize the flight to um, stomp on enemies and get one-ups from not touching the ground. But... Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I... Oh... Blue Yoshi, no! Well, I'm going to have to go back and get another Blue Yoshi from... Star World 2, but fortunately it's a simple matter of just going in and since Blue Yoshi is right at the beginning of the stage, so no worries. I believe that's a bonus. No, it's not. I must have not gone through the tape much. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so simple enough, just make the egg hatch and swallow the star and you have yourself a blue Yoshi then start and select once you've cleared a level if you press start and then select it'll uh, take you out of the level 
Did I beat? Yeah, I beat that legit. Okay. I want to make sure you have to be each level twice. Otherwise, it's not going to count towards your total, um, your total goal count. This is the stage you want to be able to fly. Oh gosh. Because it's much harder to do if you can't fly. And I hope I didn't just screw myself here. No, I didn't. Okay, good. So you can come up. You could fly under there and you could... Um, in fact, I am going to do that. I'm going to show you how fun this is. I always like doing this. So hit all these green blocks. And all the feathers show up. If you want to keep your Yoshi, you have to fly underneath there. You don't have to do that. You can just ditch Yoshi and go through. But, you know, why waste a good Yoshi? And that will open up a special star road. But we still have to beat the level the normal way oh gosh okay so let's do that I should try to land well it's a good thing there's a lot of um, there's a lot of Koopas around and I was going slow because I didn't hold Y when I um, ate that that shell. So you have to hold Y when you eat it, otherwise um, you'll end up moving slowly. And there you go. So you can see they, all these Star Road levels are really short, um, so they're not too terribly bad. By beating Star World 5, normally we get to go back to Donut Plains, which is actually um, not that bad because it gives you a quick way to get to the top secret area. And I'm going to grab another cape. And there we go. I didn't see which Yoshi that level had. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here because next time we're going to check out this new area that we've unlocked. I'll see you then.